Walker Neeson Sewer Commission meeting, September 14th. Um, Wayne, if you would give us our... Of course. Uh, instructions to Zoom, please. In accordance with an act relative to extending certain COVID-19 measures adopted during the state of emergency, signed into law by Governor Baker on June 16, 2021, and amended on February 12, 2022, and as extended the September 14, 2022, Easton Historical Commission meeting will not be open to the public for physical attendance, and the members are calling in via Zoom. The meeting is being recorded by the Easton Community Access Television, and the public may use the Q&A feature of Zoom if and when instructed to do so by the chair. Questions must include your name and address as the question and response from the town will be incorporated into the public record via minutes. Each member is asked to state their name to confirm a quorum. Okay, so oh, Tim, we've had yeah, the uh, call to order. We you're freezing on instructions. me. Am I freezing or are you freezing? Who's freezing? I'm, I'm all right right now. Okay. You were on me, but I think we're okay. Uh, do we have any alternates to designate, designate as voting members? Yeah, we need to um, go around to confirm the quorum and uh, then okay. a, a, a motion and a second and a vote for Mickey uh, to, to vote. Okay. Hurley. Intresco. Yes. Strange chair. Spencer here. Do I get to say wolf here yet, or do I have to wait? You do. You can, you can let people know you're here. It's all right, I think. <laughs> all right. Thanks. And then designation for Mickey, a motion and a second. I make a motion Early to on. designate Mickey Wolf as a voting member. Thank second. you. Motion, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> second. Okay, Spencer one, Hurley Early second. Argument. Roll call vote, thank you. Tim, you're about eight seconds behind with your flip phone. Yeah, guess I can do, brother. So the roll call vote is when you state your last name and yes. And I don't know that I've actually heard everybody state their last name and yes. It might be a Zoom issue. Uh, I think it was with me, but I got Ventresco, yes. Thank you. And Jeff. Early, early yes. Thank you. And Spencer, okay. yes. <laughs> and Wolf, yes. Thank you. Okay, we got there. The wheels of yeah. government this is really stumbling. slow, don't they? <laughs> yeah, good Lord. This is stumbling. Well, it's very glitchy tonight. All right. And then Tim, do you have the agenda handy? Tim, you there? <laughs> I don't think so. Motion to remove Tim from the committee for today. <laughs> Not there? You're back intermittently, Tim. All right, let me let me move closer. Yeah, I wonder if you're going to hold your hand your Wi-Fi. Getting better? Yep, sounds good. I think so. We've got you. Okay. All right. All right. I've got a weird screen, but I guess as long as you guys can hear me, that's fine. Um, First up is 136R Highland Ave, Highland Road, Highland Street. Um, anyone, any comments? We're, we're a little bit miffed as to why it came to us. Uh, there's a chance that there's part of it with an old house somewhere, but we can't even see where it was or is. So. I mean, I looked at this. I'm sorry. Yep. Go ahead. I, go ahead. I, I looked at this. I don't see any issues on our end. I appreciate the uh, building department sending it to us rather than not sending it to us. Right. Um, right. I think whatever was there in 1920 is probably long gone. Um, so I, again, I don't have any issues with this. Anyone, any else, any comments? 
Are we, we need a motion to find it. I don't know. Preserved. Is that what we're doing? Or, or um, yeah. historically yeah. significant or not historically significant. Right. So nice. moved. Thank you. I second that. So we second. have a motion from Strange that it's not historically significant and a second from Ventresco. So roll call vote. Ventresco, yes. Hurley, yes. Spencer, yes. Wolf, yes. Strange, aye. Thank you. I will uh, write up a uh, letter for Tim's review and signature and send that to the applicant and the building department uh, tomorrow. You got me there? Yep, next, you're there. Next step is, next step is CPA support uh, for library walls that they're going to do. I believe we have Ian Dunbar, director we of the do. library. Hold. I just promoted him to panelist. Okay, hi, Ian. There he is. There we go. Hello. We got him? Yes. Yes. Very dark. Hello. There we there we are. Thank you for having me. I guess I should hey, turn the light on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the library is in the early stages of a CPA application to do some restoration work on the west end of Quisic Garden, um, which the library has a long-term lease on the land from the town. Um, and part of the, the lease includes that the Historical Commission needs to approve any um, uh, additional work done on it. Um, I believe that uh, Wayne shared the, the letter of intent, the full application hasn't been in yet. Um, but if you have any uh, questions or if I can provide any additional information of the nature of the promise, it's a, uh, uh, which was uh, originally the, the potting shed for the garden as part of the estates there. Um, we're looking to restore it to its original shed properties um, to facilitate storage of equipment used um, in garden use seating um, chairs, awnings, um, things to just maintain the garden, um, and to expand some public space in that area of it. Is this, I have a question, is this the, like, sort of where the remnants of stone are stored now? Yes, like exactly. Okay. Exactly. So where that well-known photo is taken, I think, a bunch of mm -hmm. people on the stairs. Okay. And the stairs are going to be part of it? Um, the stairs were restored on few years ago. I don't know exactly when I was not um, privy to that then, um, but the shed, um, there was two buildings directly adjacent to the shed. They kind of spare, uh, share the walls um, connected to it. So it's uh, those under consideration. But it's more of it would involve, um, we're going to kind of extend the usable garden with some, some pathways to this area. Um, so it'd be more of the, the land as well, some more work done there. So will we, and so there's going to be a roof built, I guess, right? You're talking yes. About so will there be plans that will be presented to this board eventually for approval? Um, yes, um, I was just yes, there will be plans. I just just re received a rough sketch of um, mainly the grounds today um, that then will present to um, additional contractors. We have rough um, pricing quotes. Um, from one um, that my predecessor gathered earlier this calendar year. Um, so there's no actual plans, but just um, quotes for walls, doors, windows, roofing, and uh, electrical paneling. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just I'll put my CPA hat on for a while, but it's yep. definitely going to want, the, the CPA is going to want plans, you know, with, a, with okay. hard estimates on it. So just mm -hmm. a heads up. Okay. Well, I, have, I actually have a question and a comment, but my question was stolen by Mr. Gregg. I also, uh, I actually agree with the letter of intent, um, but I'd like to go any further, obviously pending plans. Okay. I also have the CPA hat and that we'd like to see everything detailed. My comment is uh, in the past, the uh, history of the library, which um, has been phenomenal in how they present and uh, fulfill the obligation of uh, their project, uh, specifically where um, I like skin in the game and especially how you cut this into thirds, where one third, hopefully you're getting CPA funds. 
Uh, the second being obviously uh, your own, the library's funds, and then through fundraising. I think mm -hmm. that's a win, 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 and I'd love to see it. And um, again, pending what the plans look like, I'm all for this. Thank you. Yes, um, as of now, we um, that is still the plan, um, and it seems like it will um, proceed that way as well. We do have some some um, we're in discussions with some donors on board to to assist us with it. So, I'm sorry. We have some discussion with um, some private donors on board to facilitate that okay. third of it, and the library definitely um, can contribute to the other So that will proceed as we have done in the past because we enjoy the arrangement as well. It makes a nice community effort towards a community project. Anybody else, any comments? Ian, you'll come back to us as you start to accumulate some of this stuff, just keep in touch. Yes, I, um, I kind of wanted to just, um, yeah, get your, your green light to go ahead be more before I like actually go out and see quotes because if you had some strong objection, um, I'd have to pivot right now. Um, so I'd rather see this now. I definitely, now that I have these, uh, a rough initial sketch, I'm going to approach more contractors um, and get quotes for more detailed plans. And then I will um, reconvene with you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, we don't need a vote or anything here. We, we're not, there was nothing asked for us. No, what okay. I, I, so what I've heard is um, the commission is, is uh, very receptive to the idea and it's prevented in this very rough way. Um, and then Ian will come back to the commission in the next month or two with plans uh, and an elevation of what this roof structure is going to look like, mm -hmm. um, harder cost estimates. Um, Ian, I believe that your uh, draft application is meant to be due uh, at the beginning of November. Okay. So about a couple of months. Um, and I think yesterday you sent me uh, your draft of that draft. A very, yeah, a very rough draft. Just because yep. the first time yeah. doing it. Any input is like appreciated. <laughs> So at some point, probably in October, at an October meeting or possibly in November or something, you'll come back okay. and here's the elevation of what it's going to look like. Yes. Respects and stuff. Thank you. Um, right. Okay. Thank Great. you. Anybody Thank else? you very much for your time. Okay. Thanks, Ian. Uh, next uh, is the Monk House, I believe we, we have... Rick Lincoln in the audience we do. here. We yeah, I just promoted him to panelist. And he should be showing up in a minute. Hi, Rick. Hi, everyone. Hi. God, I had to start my day with you, Rick? and I have to end it with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's two strikes, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for having me tonight. Okay, we've got you on here just to talk about the relocation and your plans, discuss what you've got going on. Yes, sir. Um, so Rick Lincoln with Blackledge LLC, which is the owner and the developer. Um, as you probably know, I've gone through Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, so that's all done and approved. Uh, and next up by design, I think, was... Um, trying to finalize with you folks the details and, and the hope for relocation of the monk house. Um, can, am I able to share a screen? I plane, or? think you can just grab it and go, I believe. I don't think I have to do anything on my end. Give it a try. Uh, give it a it. Along the bottom. I know historically other people have been able to in the past. Can you see that? No. That's Is this normal. the plan that was in your email, Wayne? I was, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I see. There's a share screen here. I think that's yeah, right. yeah. Is there? It's often an icon across the bottom. I think. Right. Probably. Sorry about that. I think. Where is? Since this is a webinar, you can just do it. If it was a public, there we go. It's working. Got it. Do you have the plan? It says Zoom on it. I think you have to go click on your uh, historic house relocation. Your tabs across the top. There it is. Yeah. 
Thanks, Wayne. You're younger than I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just have a little more experience with like, oh, yeah. glitchy technology. Yeah, I'm better now. So this is kind of an aerial overlay, obviously. A um, little hard to see the background, which are the proposed apartment buildings. And you can see the existing monk house, um, the historic part. Um, we hatched out the attached wings, which were built in the 60s and the 70s. Um, so the proposal is to um, get rid of the wings. And obviously, we'll need a structural engineer. You know, we've just kind of taken a quick look inside, but it, it definitely needs some structural help um, before we move it. And then we'd like to move it. Um, the, the arrow shows kind of, uh, you know, interior of the site a little bit, get it away from the road. Um, and that will then attach to uh, a more modern uh, amenities building um, with an outdoor patio. You can see like an outline in green right there, which will house um, the fitness room and community room. Um, the intent is to turn the monk house into uh, kind of a leasing office and, and some private rooms for folks if they want to rent a room or if they just want to use a room for uh, computer work and so forth. So the whole thing will get redone inside and then outside. Um, obviously, we'll take some discussion as to uh, what you want to see in materials and so forth. So I think the first um, part of the uh, eventual vote will be, uh, hopefully you approve that, that relocation. Um, so I, I have a trivia question. You see the little blue, blue roof here on the uh, little blue tarp, everybody? Then you see the black roof next to it? A free pen from Strange Wood. If you can tell me what that black, what that building was originally. Very what is it again? Frank? History. So you see where Rick's Rick's arrow points to where the, the he's proposing the house goes to. Right next yeah, yeah, to yeah. it, the blue roof yes. and a black roof. That black roof. That's the old yeah. office to Benson. That is the old Dog and Suds, the drive drive-in restaurant that used to be up where. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Honey yeah. Donuts is now. Oh, that's good trivia. I didn't I mean, know. Not that. only do I know Ames history. <laughs> Wow. Are we saving the hot tub jungle room uh, from the house? <laughs> well, who were the last two people to live in that house? So, Rick, your Wait. first ask is, do we have, do we approve the relocation? Am I correct? Correct. Yes. Um, anyone have any discussion on that? This is <laughs> what was represented on the approved um, plans from the from uh, that went through ZBA, right? The, what we would have reviewed previously. Correct. Yeah, no, it looks good. I, I had a question. Um, the last time I had actually been in this house, but it's been probably 25 years or more. Uh, we, we, I don't think we have any purview on the inside, correct? Correct. I see oh, Wayne shaking his head. Um, I. Uh, Tim had suggested earlier that um, it might be good to have a site visit um, for the commission to really get a sense of the building and what's there. The historic material is mostly structural and interior with the chimney and such. And the exterior is a lot of, uh, you know, sort of more contemporary replacement stuff. Um, so it's sort of a, a, a two part uh, you know, appropriate treatment of the exterior and um, conservation of the historic, uh, you know, features um, in, in the rest of the building. Wayne, can I add a little insight here? Sure. I did talk to Wayne Benson uh, three or four weeks ago, and but I was calling him on the greenhouse. Remember, mm -hmm. we weren't sure if that was historic or not. But he did lend some insight into the, the monk house. So he told me his dad in the 1950s gutted the monk house um, from basement to roof. You know, they, I, I'm not sure exactly what they did, but there was a down to the studs uh, remodel of the house. Um, and then the original wing 
uh, kind of looks to the north, you know, as this drawing is, is presented. That was built in 1968. And then I think they even had an, a little addition to the original wing in the 80s. Um, and that's that's all I know. I, I've never been inside the house personally. I've been in the house many times and there's nothing worth saving in terms of historical. I'll do respect to the Benson family. Because the main house, right? I, I remember it was in Wayne's family. Right? It, it dated to 1776, if I remember correctly. 75, I think, yeah. 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 And um, so, I mean, in terms of material, it would be nice for that part, you know, from the that day, right? You had a simple, probably two-inch cornice or a flat rake, and, you know, you had clapboard, right, or shingle. Who knows what it was at this point? Probably shingle. I would, um, yeah, shingle, shingle, maybe clapboard front. I don't, I don't have any issues here. I'm just curious. With the last inhabitants, um, Benson and Debbie Dowling? It was Mr. Benson. I know that. Well, he was I think so. And I think it was the uh, grandma in the uh, greenhouse, you know, right. to the south there. So yep. Yeah, and, and Wayne's brother, Ted. So, so there's nothing architectural on the inside, Rick? Oh, you have not been in yet? I have not been in, but I... According to Wayne, there's not. I didn't ask him that specific question, right. honestly. I just all he told me was they gutted it in the fifties, and that that's all I know. There's a wonderful mustard-colored pleather um, kitchen counter laminate top. Well, I, I don't think that's original. <laughs> um, what about uh, chimney, uh, oven? Any of that still there? I don't. I don't think so. But the chimney. That I'm glad you brought that up. I mean, I don't. It, I think that has to be, it's a center chimney. So the movers tell me that whole thing needs to be uh, taken down, you know, to move the house. Right. Um, and then the proposal actually was to keep as much brick as we could. I mean, it may get a little punky um, and rebuild the brick but create a platform of sort in the attic, you know, so the exterior doesn't change uh, and, and eliminate whatever is down below. You know, the whole thing is going to crumble pretty quick, I think. So, right, right. Yeah. And it's going to be old clinkers too, you know, from those old bricks that are, you know, inch yeah. thick. And they're going to be I think, covered in creosote. I think, worst case, if, if, if it, there's nothing usable there. We'll try and get out and find some antique brick somewhere um, and, and do it like that if we can. Obviously, with your approval before it's installed, you know, right. but um, uh, we, I have a funny feeling that's probably the way it's going to go when we, we try and take that down. Um, can I make a suggestion? I, I maybe? Uh, maybe we'd want to go and see the inside of it. Go ahead, make him. That, that was actually, actually going to be my suggestion, Tim. Was just that because we've done it for site visits on other places, and this one, if it is does date back that far, we should just do our due diligence and kind of keep it all the same, and maybe do a site visit um, before going any further. I'm, I'm not opposed to it. If we can get together for you know, one, two, three, four of us, whatever, whatever's convenient for Rick. It, it's wide open, and I, I certainly don't have any issues with that. Okay, okay. So nobody living there. <laughs> okay. Would we arrange with you, Rick? Uh, so we're assuming this is you giving permission to the commission to do a site visit at any point that they, they want to. Um, presumably it's locked, I would hope, so we'd arrange with you for keys or, or for access to the inside? Yes, I can call Wayne, actually. The, the oh, okay. I, th I think he still has the keys or, you know, he can open it up you know, before you get there, that type of thing. Okay. Rick. Yes, sir. As far as outside, you know, finished products, we'll be looking for wood shingles or, you know, claps, uh, true divided windows, You know, whatever, whatever would have been used back then, age appropriate, whatever you want to call it. It's probably, we took a crack at, so I, this is probably the first 
revision. Um, the original drawing back from BKA was not, they didn't have the panel shutters. They had the wrong windows. Uh, the door was not right. So I took a stab at trying to um, some uh, establish some specs on on the uh, on, on the original house there. So okay, okay, I'm wide open. It's not that big of a house, so I could get, right now. I think there's a new composite out there. It's not that cheap for the clapboard, but I can do real red cedar clapboard if if that's the preference. So that's not a big deal. Same, same thing. I think it's all clapboard right now, but uh, we could do shingles on the side. You know, that would be a nice look, but, you know, whatever the, the commission prefers. Right. I'm okay well, with we, I just said it would be nice if it was wood. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah that's fine. I agree. And then, on, you know, on the trim, I I, the PVC, you know, I mean, you, if you wanted to use boral, you could. At least that looks like wood, right? Acts like wood. Yeah, I think there's PVC now. And then the windows, I was going to do a, um, you know, a simulated divided light, which is as close as we get to true divided light these days. Yeah, right, um, right. If you're, if you're okay with. Yeah, with the external grill. Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And the shadow bar. And the shadow bar, yeah. That's yeah. A lot of people don't know there are some yep. that come without shadow bars. Oh, and it looks, yep. you really notice it too, don't you? It's like, oof. Yep. Okay. Any, anything else? Anybody? No. Okay. So Rick's one ask tonight from us is do we agree on the location? Is, is that all right? Everybody in agreement with that? The we motion location? to approve the location. Sorry about that. So we have a motion from Strange to approve the relocation in accordance with the uh, presented plans. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Thank you. Somebody else. Yeah. Roll call vote. Hurley, aye. Francesco, aye. Spencer, yes. Wolf, yes. Strange eye. Okay, so moved. And do we want to get a date together? Should I, should I send around an gonna... email of uh, like times uh, that might work for people? Would that okay. be easiest? Okay, yeah. Sounds uh, like people, a plan. of course, work during the day. So are we looking like on a Monday evening mm -hmm. or do people work from home? I, don't, I work I, from home, so I usually, if I'm not in a meeting, I can sneak out for a short bit. Yeah, I think Mickey does not work from home, but I don't know what time she could get there in an evening. Or you could, of course, all do it on a weekend. You know, there's no burning need that I'd be there for any of this. Just yeah, don't forget, it's, it's getting light. I mean, it's getting it dark. It gets dark at like seven now. It's pretty dark. Oh, no, it's. I would be t if there's no. Is there if there's no power in there? It might be kind of tough. Yeah. Well, throw it out there, Wayne, and see what comes up. All right. Yeah. We'll try we'll to take do a, a round robin with the emails. Yeah, we'll try to accommodate the majority as best we can do. And we could do a couple of different visits. Yeah, yep. Make sure we get everybody. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Anything else for Rick? I, I just wanted to point out, if I could, I'll put my playing board hat on and uh, thank Mr. Lincoln for his project at the foundry at yeah. uh, uh, 560. Is that 560? I should know that by now. It's only been five years, but Foundry Street. Um, originally, there was a clubhouse, or there is a sort of a clubhouse, a gathering house. Um, and originally, it was just, you know, it was kind of a house, and you know, the, the house, the part of the deal with the playing board, and then we have architectural approval, and there's five or six nice uh, New England-style homes that he's, he's come up with. And then, so he had a great idea that he's followed through with, um, I supplied some pictures I found to kind of push him, but uh, he's the, the gathering house he's basing on um, the old foundry that was there. 
Uh, and then there's outside wanted a uh, sort of like a patio area. And he's he making that look like the old one of the old uh, brick foundries that were there just to give some walls in between. So it's it's nice to and he's doing a great job with you- 555 and the two new houses there. So so thank you for helping uh, invigorate the historical feel of Furnace Village. Could be really cool when it's all done there with the bike lane that the town's doing and everything. So kind of looking forward to doing it. Great. Okay. Um, anything else from us, Rick? Are you? Well, I'll, so I'll just clean up the specs a little bit, you know, change the plans, go to real wood on the claps. I, I don't know if anybody wants shingles on the, the gable ends or if I keep that clap. Um, and then uh, just, I, I think that was it on the specs. So yeah, okay. I'd, I'd go right. I'd either go all clap or all shingle because the clap front with the shingle sides, that's something that came along in the 50s for an economy. I actually but, agree with you, know. Greg. Yeah. Oh. So, you know, class, they're both historical to the period. Yeah. Okay. All that, right. That's all I have. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. Appreciate your time. Good. Okay. Thanks for everybody's time. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Uh, next, we got a uh, review and acceptance of August 24th minutes. Everyone was sent a copy. Sure. I didn't see any issues, so any, my, any comments? Move it. Second. Motion to accept the minutes. So we had Ventresco motion to accept the minutes. We had, uh, I believe, Strange seconded. Hurley, oh. aye. Ventresco, aye. Spencer, aye. Wolf, aye. Oh, Strange, aye. Sorry. Pay attention. Uh, preservation restriction monitoring. Uh, I don't, we didn't probably didn't get that out yet, but uh, Amy just completed that yesterday, today. Wayne has a copy of it. I assume he'll be forwarding it to us at some point. There were no, we mentioned it before, there were no egregious uh, things there, but there's a couple of common, common spots where, uh, uh, cheek walls, if you will, if you know what they are, the, the, the shingles are absorbing water and they're rotting a little bit. It might be, it's common. If there's some common issues, bang, bang, bang down the line that it will be easily addressed once they, you know, we, they know we're on them for it. But all in all, the place is pretty, pretty decent. Amy, I think you'll agree. Yep. Um, so other pertinent, not reasonably anticipated by the chair. John, I have one question yeah, for you. Two, Are we uh, going to do the photo thing? Yeah. Oh, you're throwing that right at me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's hold on to that first. Let me go to... Still, uh, still milk in COVID? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. I've gotten too lazy. <laughs> um, yeah, my, I think we all... Hold that thought for a minute. Um, I bring this Sorry. up to um, the Reed House. Uh, can I get a yay or nay or whether or not? I mean, it's obviously for sale now. I'm assuming that it's going to get torn down. Is there a yay or nay on actually worth saving? I mean, there's never been a demo delay on this or anything else. So the guy's waited this long time. I mean, how many years has this been up for sale or in rotting? I mean, Greg, you seem to be the last one that has actually reviewed this. And from my memory, you had mentioned that uh, it's not as bad as it looks on the main structure. Um, so, um, you well, know, I was last time I was in there, or man, time flies, but it's probably four, four years ago, five years ago. And at the time, yeah, it wasn't, you know, it always looked bad because the, <laughs> He, he had re-roofed it maybe 20 years ago, uh, but he didn't do the two porches. So those have come down. So, you, you know, and the, it was yeah. the, the house, the house was enormous and it was mushy in some areas, but it was, it was savable. You know, I, so when I can speak as that as, as an expert, so I do it for a living. I was like, oh, this is doable, but it's the same thing at the time, you know, he put it on the market and dozens of people looked at it and we spoke, we spoke to all sorts of people, you know, we said, well, yeah, we want to save it, gave them some ideas, but no matter what they did, um, 
what they were, you know, they all came up. He's still twice, even now. It went on the market because we called him the uh, about town called him about we're thinking of doing some rezoning in that area, you know, with the center school coming down in a couple of years. And, and so he immediately threw it back on the market, but for $400,000 and it just, just doesn't work at that. Now, I don't know, you know, it may be too far gone at this point inside. I mean, I don't, I, like I said, I haven't been there for four or five years. And Well, I'm assuming now with eminent domain taking, there's no frontage anyway. So it might be a moot question. Uh, question. There's frontage. I mean, but it's, yeah, I mean, you know, ideally, you'd maybe grab a little land from the school parcel or, you know, who knows. But, it'd be, you know, because it, it's funny. Um, it's so I had some, I had a couple of things I wanted to bring up and I had big smiley faces and I had a big sad face. And under the sad face was when I, I returned from Italy. And I'm going to get a little preachy here, <clears throat> but I think as a as a group, as citizens, right, that are historically minded, I think we need to. And I had a really long conversation with the with Stephanie today, but I, th I think we need. And last year was a little rough with some behind the scenes things that whatever life happens sometimes. But as you know, a bunch of us were working trying to sit to get a deal going on the congregational church at the time, and for a bunch of reasons that we don't need to bring up here, that just there was someone put an offer in, but it, it just fell through because of a lot of uh, a lot of human craziness. Um, but have you seen what happened to that bill? You know, and at the, cause at the time we're thinking, okay, let's convert it. Assuming a church wasn't going to buy it. Let's convert it to condo. And let's, I was, I was advocating for, or many of us were advocating for um, getting a preservation restriction on the outside, maybe, you know, 250,000 from CPA to preserve that exterior. Um, so someone said, why well, you give money to a developer or to a homeowner? But that would means the outside has to stay the way it was be restored. And, you know, always have to be like that. Uh, unfortunately, in the two weeks I was in Italy, I came back and I was almost crying. They've torn off the slate roof and they've put the cheapest of vinyl sidings, which is their right. I'm not faulting, you know, but, you know, it's it's a shame because um, that's such a visible location. And, and for a town, we all work so hard to try to save some history. And, keep, you know, we need to keep our property value up because we're always going to be a residential tax base. Uh, we don't have the highway. We don't, have, you know, we don't have a lot of big commercial space, and um, it's it's just a shame that that happened. So I hope it's a lesson learned that, you know, we all need to put personal grievances or whatever. We we just need to work together because it's a shame. Because it, it, so now that whole area, you look back a year ago, I was like, wow, we can restore that, and we can restore the Reed House, and then see what happens with the Center School. Now, you know, now <laughs> now that church has. The cheapest has like Home Depot vinyl on it. No, I better be careful on TV. No problem with Home Depot, but just low, low cost vinyl siding. No DT, you know, it just, um, and, you know, and then, yeah, and the Reed House has had 30 feet taken from the front of it and the telephone poles are in front of it. So, um, you know, something. I mean, what, was the, what would be the option, Greg? On the Reed House? I don't know. Well, no, you know, no, 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 I'm talking about the church. No, I, church? Well, I, I, I don't know. Next option would be that's a huge building and it's mostly school. It's mostly classroom. I mean, the, 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 um, the church part of it, for lack of a better word, you know, is, is like 10% of that building. It's classrooms everywhere. Um, the option would be so oh, someday if that church that just bought it, they're from Jamaica, New York, if they ever sold it, um, buy it and convert it to, you know, you, you know, I, I always say convert it to residential because the church is just, in general, these days, Canada, that's such an expensive building to, to maintain. I thought but, the uh, request, they came to CPA, if I recall, and I thought that request was strictly for the roof. Right, but that, that was the congregation, that was 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but the thought was, well, I, I probably shouldn't, the, the deliberations, we'd like to save it, but we didn't think it was, we, they were worried about the solvency of the church, because at the time, I think they only had right. like 12 mm -hmm. parishioners, you know, but, uh, but anyway, so, that's that. And, um, and then also, um, I'm going to get a little preachy, but you know, I don't, and so I don't know, we talked, I think this is the last meeting, but you remember the duplex on Pequantica that came up earlier this year and we were kind of split as a group. Some of us thought, Oh, you should stay wood siding. Cause I'm like, you know, we're, we're, we're about preservation, not renovation, you know? And well, they, they tore the house down. <laughs> so they violated their special permit. Um, and uh, and now I have said, oh, we never talked to historical or anybody historical, and you know, they're playing dumb. But uh, 
So I'm assuming at some point, Stephanie and I will set up a meeting with them. And, uh, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be wood now, <laughs> tell you that much. But it's a shame. It's, it's come down, you know, now the whole, the whole point of, you know, saving, and Amy, you know, you were involved in that, right? The whole point of saving it was nice to, you know, keep the history and, you know, play the old, oh, it was rotted card. Like, you know, please. So, but on the good news, the uh, Belcher estate, um, part of, you know, uh, I don't know if I've said, I, I probably have said it, but uh, Bill Humphreys um, on South Street has the flexible development in there where it has a couple of affordable units, has walking paths to the neighborhood, and also the, the original Belcher house, which is there, which is, if you've ever looked like at the Historical Society, all those cool pictures of the, the tennis court, the lawn tennis courts and the games of the, the family out there. So that building is going to be restored. It's going to be all wood exteriors, no changes to the exterior, uh, simulated divided light windows. Um, there's a porch that expands. So that's going to be nice to, to see that happen. And I'm, I've talked to um, ECAT about maybe shooting a show about it because there's a lot of resources about that at uh, the Historical uh, Society. And um, another good news, the house on Lincoln Street that we, with the T&M, we're in here. And forgive me, I, I'm, I can't, my, my brain injury from skiing has cost me my memory this week. But uh, um, on Lincoln Street, remember the whole variance thing? That variance was filed today with T&M. So um, no, that's great. Nice. You know, until it was done, I kept thinking, oh, will they back out? Will they back out? But I helped, he called with some technical questions and we spent some time working on that this morning. And uh, so... We, we lost the church and we lost the duplex, but we'll, uh, at least we get the, uh, we get Belcher and we got the. Uh, well, I mean, the church is there. We didn't, you know, someday, like you say, hopefully we can recover it, but uh, no, excellent job on Lincoln Street. And I just want, and to Amy's point, remember the last meeting, um, Amy, you had mentioned, you kind of touched on something that I had talked about for years, like coming up with the, you know, houses that we, you know, or buildings that we should preserve. So, you know, so I was thinking, if I had put a list, I put a list of like a hundred years ago. So at some point, if, do we ever want to get together as a group or take a look at them or grab coffee or do it online? And, you know, and I, I, I say, here's an assignment, drive around town and go, you know, sometimes you forget, you take these things for granted, like, wow, that'd be a great thing to hang on to. And I think, I think we should start doing that. Um, yeah, I agree proactive, that. you know? Yeah, I definitely think we should start yeah. a list going. The only thing, I'll buy the talked, coffee. We talked about this before. The only danger of it is, is living by the list. If somebody says that's not one of the most 100 important houses, so it doesn't need to be saved. It's the only, you know, maybe if you, if you had the most important 200 houses, I'm just saying. Yeah, you whatever, them, whatever. I mean, we might only find 50. You know, right, right, right. Whatever no, the number saying. is, you know. But it was, we were advised to watch out for that. That if you put out a list, then it, then it puts a mark on all the other houses. Yeah, so but you know what? By, by, by not doing the list, you know, think of what, what I've argued for years with it is what happens now? We either get a developer that knows they don't want to save it. They'll file because they know it's going to take them a year to get a permit anyways by the time they do the engineering and all that, right? Or you get a homeowner who has no idea and maybe they would have been interested in saving it, but they've hired an architect and they've designed a new, you know, a new set of plans and yada, yada. And then all of a sudden they, they, they're ready to build. They've got their builder lined up and then all of a sudden, you know, they hear from town hall that, oh no, a demo delay, you got to go see historical. And, and we haven't saved any of those either. We're so well go with detailed vinyl siding or something. But that, again, that's not, that's not restoration. So by doing it this way, and we'll educate ourselves, we'll, we'll learn, you know, more about these buildings and, oh, that's great. Wow, look at that, you know. And, you know, just like when we sent out the historic surveys to people, they were really, remember how the signs, the number of people that had those signs on the house like quadrupled overnight. Because, you know, people like history. I think it's our job as the historical commission to kind of alert them to it, right? And, and, and then we can talk to brokers and other people in, in the, you know, in the town that, oh, hey, I know they've, you know, historical would really like to save that house because of, you know, X, Y, Z. So I, I, I don't know. I don't think anything bad can come out of it. I think only good. And even if it's uh, not a list or if it's a list and, you know, we uh, had talked about that there are buildings that are, there's clearly something going on and they're clearly historic. And what is the status? You know, why is it getting run down like that? Or why is it being collected? Who owns it now? And trying to understand what's going on with these before, you know, to Greg's point, surprise, here's a demolition application and trying to head that off. You know, one of the things I keep saying is the best demolition review application is the one that you never receive because you've headed it off and come up with a solution before it becomes a thing. 
Well, I guess that goes back to my original question with the Reed House. So I'm anticipating they have a, a, they've had a sign up there for a month. So when this is probably going to come to us, is this something that we're going to um, go through the process or is this going to be just a no-brainer? Well, I would, have, I would have to go through the process when and if it comes. There would be an application um, unless it's such a hazard that there's an emergency demo. And, uh, you know, is it? I don't know. That's a conversation with the building inspector. So perhaps... Yeah, I don't think it's... That. Yeah, that's not something for us to... Right. Um, discuss, or to think well, we'll discuss it, but not to make any judgments. Yeah. And so, you know, until that happens or until there's actually a, a demolition permit filed, then there you go. And when and if that happens, you just go through the process as you do, whether it's historically significant or not. If it is, if it's preferably preserved or not, and if it is a demolition delay for you know the 12 months, just like you normally would. Yeah, you know, and, and a solution, you know, for, for example, because this isn't on the agenda, so we have to be careful, right? But that house is um, most of it's pre, you know, it's pre-existing non-conforming, lots undersized. And it, I I'm, imagine at this point, maybe other than the rear, it violates every setback. <clears throat> but how our bylaws work, even if you tear it, even if you demolish it within two years, you can replace it as long as you don't make the nonconformity any worse. So if someone were for, just for example, were to come in and say, hey, I'd like to recreate that house the way it looked, and I'll save the, you know, the beams. Remember, I talked about over that garage is gorgeous. It's, it's like a pub in Ireland. I mean, it's just... The wood, the wood is unbelievable. Um, and that roof's still dry. Um, you know, it's, it save some of that. And if they wanted to build something, a, a, a replica of it, that would be nice, you know, celebrate kind of the history there. And and by doing that, you know, because then they'd realize, okay, because the house is enormous. Um, yeah, maybe they could, you know, possibly you could do two or three units there and they could, you know, that might make it feasible for someone. But the problem is still, you still get down to the purchase price and it's just, right now it's, it's just uh, it's two hundred thousand too high. It haven't made any sense. Anybody else? So Tim, getting back to the preservation program, usually I start that in August with the schools before they so they're ready to go with the art department. To be honest, there's no way I could pull it off and get okay. this um, this okay. lane. If but but um, maybe we can. You know, I could think about this um, after the holidays and go for kind of a spring fling type thing. Um, I don't know. I'd have to do a little bit more thinking about it. All right. It. I, All mean, right. That's, I was just thinking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, John. Okay. Anybody else? Motion to adjourn. Seconded. Early aye. Ventresco aye. Spencer, I. Well, yes. Strange eye. Thank you all. Have a wonderful night, ladies and Thank gentlemen. You. Thank you. Thank you all very much.